is going on guys today we are looking at the best players under 300,000 coins like always goalkeepers very similar so we're not going to go over them too much like i've always said when it comes to goalkeepers these are kind of my favorites as we go through the list obviously as you go more up to it you go van der Sar, you look at allison but in terms of this sort of price bracket i'd say schmeichel's definitely one that you could be looking at Courtois, I've always rated him as a gold goalkeeper. Then you look at the Donnarumma for an upgradable factor. Maybe Casillas as kind of more of your encore icon upgrade pack. And then obviously Edison, always been solid alongside Allison. And due date this year, surprisingly a lot better. Now, surprisingly, in terms of fullbacks, less option than I thought, to be honest. A lot of them now are of a much higher price bracket. There is one that I would mention because. This technically was the only version when putting the players in that was under the 300k mark. But I do know that the 88 Teo Hernandez is coming in between 310 and about 295. So at the point he was 310, then I've seen him drop to 300. Whether you could get him at that price point if you are very specific on your budget, then I would always verge to go for the 88. He has got the play style plus, whereas the 86 unfortunately is just a little bit of an upgrade. It's nothing too crazy. So I just thought I'd mention him in there. But we are looking at kind of... More of your unoptional kind of versions, really. We're looking at a Rico Lewis, solid, solid right back. Again, with him, I'm kind of putting him in more for the evolution factor because realistically, he isn't getting an upgrade as high as this again, unless he absolutely stomps away in the remaining fixtures, gets into a footies, or just manages to do something. Is not going to get an 88 from a silver again. Then obviously we have Yan, very, very good fantasy, rapid and intercept. Not a bad combination for a right back. Can has the ability to go right back, right wing, right mid, wherever you want to put him. But I do think a 65,000, he is definitely worth a look in. Same as Matteson, to be honest. 46,000. Again, anticipate, jockey, four-star weak foot as well being with all of them stats. I'm not really going to argue for them price points. For 100k to get your left back, right back sorted... Two good ratings. Like I said, we are looking at a massive price increase. When you're looking at an Alex Scott sort of SBC that has gone now, I've kind of had to go back to the basics with a UCL version, but you could have got the SBC as well. Then alongside that, you're looking at a Davis, who'll be a couple of, a couple of 100K more now. Frimpong will be the same. And then you kind of go down the evolution route. In terms of fullbacks, it's definitely either top or not. Now, after the fullbacks, I must admit, this is where it gets a little bit better. When it comes to centre-backs, we normally have a decent variety of them. And these are definitely the best that I've seen at the price point. You can go up, you can go down a little bit. And I would say, if you could include anybody lower than this, they are going to be subject to your opinion. But I think, for me, what I was looking through when it comes to the 300k and under, these are the best and without putting in too much fluff. I'm not going to just put in random players all the time to try and kind of just add more people to the squad. These are what I consider the better centre-backs out of the bunch. Virgil doesn't need too much explaining. I think everybody knows full well for the past five years or whatever he's been at Liverpool, he has been one of the best centre-backs in the game from just 100% the start. This year, more so than anything, the gold version is just going down in absolute history in FC24. When we look at the rest, Rudiger's probably the only fluff player that I'm putting in here because I do think he's a good centre-back, but he is in dire need of just a big upgrade for him. And and whether he gets it, more than likely, could he see a team of the season, a moment, a foot birthday, eventually go into a footies maybe? That could be where he gets his real break because he's kind of just outweighed from Virgil, Varane, company. You go to then the icons of Maldini, you can put loads of names in the hat. Lucio being an another standpoint, he's kind of just gone by the waistline and let alone having Militao next to him going on oppositions, you've got Arejos, who's a very good centre-back. I don't think they're in the, the absolute cross line right now. We've got a very good SBC that I believe has only got a couple of days left, so make sure that you are getting him because that is a great card. Slide, tackle, anticipate, two very good player star pluses together. Only 130,000 for an SBC as well is an absolute must. Great pace, defending physical off the charts, very, very good value for the SBC. 
I know full well Konate has dropped massively in price purely on the fact that he is injured. I actually don't know the full extent of his injury, if he's going to be back in time to finish the appearances or not, but still worth a look in regardless. If you could get him at the absolute lowest of his price point, he's definitely going to be worth a look in at the minimum. Bruiser Relentless, I'm not going to lie, they're not necessarily the greatest playstyle pluses together, but at the same time, he still has that kind of body and stature that would work as a centre-back. When it comes to Varane, he's a very good centre-back. He, he always will be. He's very meta. We saw him last year, even again with a sub-par season, really. He, he kind of did bits, but he wasn't necessarily reaching the heights of 99 by any uh, shadow of imagination. But he most definitely was still very meta-relevant in any in-performance or out-of-performance card he got. And the Thunderstruck definitely agrees with that. We start with a gold, anticipates always a very good one, and then obviously got up to the 88, and he's kind of just stuck there. We need a bigger upgrade for him to be part of the top 10, the top 15 centre-backs of the game, and that's just natural progression as we know. Whether we see a full birthday version of him, a moments in Team of the Season, I don't think he's done anything to really get into a Prem Team of the Season by any shout but in terms of kind of a moment a flashback that's going to be a perfect one for ea to say here's a triple play star plus varan that you can get at 92 rated it's it's just going to be an easy one for them especially for sbc fodder company this year he's very much like lucio how i'd always debate that you normally had virgil maldini it was ramos you had varan they were like the top four all year then we added Lucio into the mix. It then became Virgil, Lucio, Maldini, Varane, and yada yada. We keep going down. Company has definitely put himself in the mix from the get-go. You have got the base still, which is still a very good card for the price of him. We now do have the UCL and also the Fantasy that is getting upgraded. So they obviously go up in price points as well. You're looking at a, at least over a million for his uh, Fantasy card. But this card still will do the absolute business. If you're not looking for a huge price team, because not everybody can afford a credit card FC team or even be lucky enough to pack them, because it's not as if I've spent crazy amounts of money on the game but i've definitely got very lucky in some packs to get the team that i have got as well as grinding out sbcs and i always like to throw sol campbell in here because i do think he's missed a little bit whether we see a big upgrade for him i think he's one that's never really had that much love to be honest i, I know last year we got the real kind of start of the campaign for icons but i don't think he got a 92 left wing shapeshifter other than that, obviously, previous years, we haven't really had any other campaigns. It was always base mid prime, and then they threw in moments. So whether we see a bigger upgrade for him soon, that could be an interesting one. But right now, he's a solid center back, but not the best. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. Now, in terms of the midfield, I've tried to throw in a bit of everything because we are looking at DMs, box to boxes, a cams, just solely attacking midfielders. And I feel like we've got a good spread. A lot of the time, it is based around kind of more your box to box, your highly statted cards, like for instance, a Valverde, a Goretzka. When you look at their stats, Valverde naturally has a lot more pace, which always puts him in a good running. I've always thought he was a very good center mid from the start of this year. And most definitely, as he increased in his rating his stats definitely have accompanied that all we're waiting for now is a big team of the season for him because i don't see him getting anything more until that now because he's going to be a wow factor for the la liga if he does manage to get into it goretzka is very similar i could see him in foot birthday whether he's done enough in the bundesliga i've not really heard too much about him so whether he does get a team of the season that could be what they're waiting for or a four star five star five star four star goretzka at 92 93 rated before team of the season could be a massive card to take him over the edge the winter wild card especially when he first came out was a brilliant card and a very pricey card and now we're starting to slowly go down and and you find in some of them cards you maybe couldn't afford to now afford, like Yaya, 204,000. If you just like Yaya, that's a perfect card to get in on the market with him. 204 is really not that bad whatsoever for a very good CDM with almost 
the ability to kind of not have a playstyle plus. Yes, you will always get better because you can. There's so many SBCs with DMs, a Rykard with a playstyle plus. You can get double playstyle pluses on much cheaper CDMs and kind of higher, higher price ones that you might be able to get out of a lucky grab bag. But Yaya Toure, if you are looking for someone who is tried and tested, is a phenomenal midfielder. He will definitely not let you down. Now, Bernardo Silva is one of the ones that always goes under the radar. Every single year, he always has an absolute gem. This one is phenomenal as well. Incisive, technical. Technical, I'm not a massive fan of. It is what it is for him. But in terms of the rating and the price, 80,000 coins for an absolute monster with incredible left stick. Yes, he's not necessarily going to be your heavily defensive uh, player, but he definitely will give you enough in the midfield. He's always had the team of the season. He's kind of had a few kind of mishaps. Summer he, he had in FIFA 20. We've obviously had multiple team of the seasons prior to that. Then obviously his time at Monaco as well. Whether we get a team of the season this year will be interesting at the minimum. Could we throw him in at the community? That again would be a brilliant card, especially already being 91. He's got to get that next level up and in 23 he did get a foot birthday so normally they like to repeat that one could we see him there with a 5-5 i'd pay big money for him as well one card that has always kind of astounded me as well that he is still here and still mentioned is a 93 modric from the road to the knockout one of the first promos it's kind of like the handful that is still here and still talked about a very very good card from the get-go 93 rated with a Traveller plus which is still good enough yes you wanted to probably add now a pinged pass an incisive pass to him but i think they kind of got the other card wrong when they went with the honorable because yes it did have the pinged pass which i actually forgot about but an extra 800,000 coins of an SBC during one of the heaviest SBC times of the game in Team of the Year, I just didn't think the value was worth that one play style plus because we had nothing else to go with him. He was still a four-star, four-star. The only thing they changed was just giving him a pinged pass. And I don't think that was worth 800k extra. I think you could get much better for your money there. Musiala came out during the team though. Technical plus, 5 star, 4 star. Definitely could do with an upgrade now. But still a brilliant cam if you wanted to go forward. And it's the same with Bellingham. Even though this, I think this is the highest rated you can get prior to the team of the year because that one is i think he's still over yeah he's eight and a half million coins still which again is going to be a long waited for uh footies to be able to get a hands on this card anytime soon but the 89 is coming in at 210 and he's still very good stats are very spread you could go and go have a bellingham a gundogan a valverde bellingham a goretzka bellingham a yaya Torre and a bellingham i like to kind of set up with a two midfield more of a defensive you can attack with him as well, or then having a cam next to him. Personally, I run a team of the year Putielis with Zidane. Zidane being an SBC is just an easy one, and then Putielis was just very lucky from a pack. But I could then side with a Rijkaard and a Zidane, a Bellingham as Zidane, and it would work just as well as you just normally would with a midfield. Gundogan still available for upgrades. He hasn't, I think he's still got a fair few matches to go as well. So we won't see the full extent of where the upgrades are going until probably another two to three weeks when fantasy fully finishes from the match upgrades as well. But in terms of anticipate, finesse shot, four star, four star, very good spread of stats. You can go with the shadow, the anchor, whatever you want. And he's definitely going to be that holding midfielder that just really drives the ball forward. Kaka, another fan favourite, very nostalgic value when it comes to an icon. 287 for a 5 4 Brazilian icon with the Rapid Plus, definitely going to be very good. He's obviously going to be more on the attacking side, he's not going to be able to do any defensive duties. So if maybe you've got a free midfield, you go box to box, CDM, cam, maybe then kind of playing with that striker, making the run ons, getting a bit of pace. That is going to be where Kaka is absolutely lethal in front of goal. And then we have two of the new ones. We have Petit and Rijkaard, who are both very, very similar. One is obviously from the team, and the other one is an SBC that can be complete over the next, like, five weeks, I think it is, or four weeks, whatever's left. One can play, well, both of them can play centre-back, in fact. I would say if you're going to pick a centre-back between them, I would go more Petit for that Anticipate. I do like Intercept as more my DM sort of play style plus. So both of them could be played in the same team. You could throw in Petit at a centre-back role and then Rijkaard just above him in that Intercept. 
Both of them have got very good stats when it comes to the defensive duties and will definitely give you the running. I was kind of just hoping that they at least gave them the double. That would have been really nice for both of them, to be honest. I must admit, we go back to the wingers, and again, we're clutching at straws for left wingers, to be honest. I know Kravat Skilia can play left wing as well, so I've included him in the middle, so that I just remember that he can play both. We've obviously got a gold Vinny still at 160. Vinny is, is very, he's very much like the new Neymar in terms of a gold left wing Brazilian. He's got the skills, he's obviously got a lot of good stats when it comes to going forward, and yes, the upgrades are very, very expensive. But he still would even now give you a good run down the wing. And normally what I find is you tend to have a defense that's very standard, a midfield that more than likely is SBC driven, and then you'll find kind of your gamble SBCs have paid off for your up front. But if you haven't necessarily got that look just yet, I do think when you look at the left wings, Rodrigo's still going to be a phenomenal uh, kind of value. R definitely Vinny is. And then also Kravatskilia. I, I personally think very much like Modric, this option is the best. You do have, obviously, the team of the year honourable that was an SBC, 761,000 in comparison to 200,000. Failing that, you just go for the 88, 54,000 for the just a normal inform. That one doesn't have the trickster plus, which, to be honest, I could kind of go away with, to be honest. There is no massive difference there. I'm not a big fan of the trickster plus in terms of what it can actually do. I like the animations, and I think it's pretty decent whenever you're winning but i'm not going to be using any of the trickster pluses if i'm losing like it's just not going to happen but in terms of kind of saving coins you could go for the inform if you really wanted to when it comes to right wings i've got some of my fan favorites dembele is always going to be a favorite especially at 110 the rapid plus is a big check five five great pace dribbling's on the next level the only thing he's missing is a bit of shooting and that's where the fantasy card which is just crazy expensive would kind of come into play there he does have a massive upgrade from 79 shooting to 87 on that version but he's also 4.3 million McManamum loved his upgrade to the UCL fantasy even better he's obviously got the chip shot which is what it is I'm not a big fan of that one personally but again if I ever get into them scenarios that is going to play off massively, but I don't really get into them scenarios too much. Technical, I can work with, but the pace, the dribbling, the passing all down the wing is a very good card for 180, and especially for a hero. Diani is one of my favorites this year. In terms of the women cards, she has been brilliant down the right wing and even at striker. She started the game, everybody found out how good she was with that Travella Plus. Now they've added the whipped pass, 260, very, very good option. And of course, I had to throw a Dybala in here at 90, 90 rated, not 90,000. 150, four star, four star, is just an easy buy. And then we have the strikers. So I've got a few heroes in here. Brolin is due an upgrade. I think it's just one, I'm pretty sure. So he will be a 90, I believe, Wednesday. They normally do their upgrades then. Whether they follow that same pattern, we will soon see. Valera, I don't think, has been confirmed one as of yet. But I do like the upgrade that they've got. The one thing I wanted to check... Smolarek was in this list. Oh, it's 330. So Smolarek is just above. But I would put all of them in as a trio option. Brolin's very good with that Rapid Plus. Smolarek at 330 for an SBC also has that Rapid Plus. Uh, uh, Smolarek has Press Proven, whereas Brolin has the Trickster, which, again, I'm not a fan of because of that. Especially not even having the five-star skills. How can somebody be a Trickster without the five-star skills, in my opinion? Then, obviously, Valer has the Chip Shot, which he originally had, but also has Aerial, which adds a different threat in the box. We have two of the long-standing icons in Dalglish and also Butra. They both technically have better versions. Butra you can buy on the market and Dalglish was an SBC which is now unavailable obviously. But still, decent strikers if you got them. I, I would definitely take them over a lot of the lower rated ones that really come out too much in icon packs. So I would say them two are definitely worth a look in if you are looking for a specific icon under 300,000. We have got Rasmus. He has got a player of the month out at the moment as well. He has got 88 rated, so this version is slightly higher, but you've got to pay for him on the market. He's got the power shot and the first touch on this one, whereas on the player of the month, it is Ariel and also first touch as well, quick step. So completely different too. And he's coming in at 78 compared to the 104, depending on which one you want. They are two decent options going forward. 
Kane's obviously back in packs this week. I do think he's a good striker. I think finisher-wise, phenomenal. Same as Lewandowski. Finishing, actually scoring, brilliant if you can get him in front of goal. But he is a very specific play style going forward. You're not going to just hit the ball and run with him. You've got to be very orientated around almost a hold-up striker and build the play with him. Some people get along with him really well. I always like the team of the season, the, the footage version, as that tends to have a bit of a pace increase and it just makes him into that monster. You get 90 pace, 99 shooting. That is where I really like the Kane and Lowen Dowski types and even someone like a Benzema. Then we have Sammy Kerr. Now, I don't think her team of the year is actually that expensive. I say this now. 1.5. I mean, compared to a lot of the team of the year that seems to be 5 mil and above, 1.5 is really not that bad. But I absolutely loved this radioactive. The rapid plus, the 4 4, great finishing, great dribbling. She was definitely a card well worth looking at, especially with the chemistry bonus that does come with the radioactive as well. Di Natale, whether we actually see an upgrade before Foot is Heroes for him, it's just like last year. I think he managed to get one during Captain, uh, the what, Foot Captain. Whether we see one on him soon, because I really thought he would have got one in fantasy. But unfortunately, I don't think they really computed that one. Still a good striker, though. You've always got to respect it. He still holds his own, even at the 88, which has been out from the very start of the game. And to say he's still 150... That kind of tells you the levels that he's producing. And finally, Lacazette at 240, still with the chance of upgrades. 92 pace, 90 shooting. It speaks for himself. He's always been a very decent kind of lower budget striker that you can get. And he most definitely delivers on this one as well. So let me know down below what you think. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.